Come on then, let's go and unload our gear and then we'll go and meet Mercer at the Sanctum, what's it called? Snowfall Sanctum. Next to the College of Winterhold, which we've never been to yet, but I do plan on going, going there soon. What time is it? I'll tell you what, can we just go in here and wait? I'll just wait here. Twelve, we'll wait ten hours. And then once the merchants are available, we'll get rid of all of our stuff because we've got a lot off last mission. <laughs> We're going to be loaded with money. There you are, good sir. What brings you to Balamut today? Repair? For sale. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Both. Sell the dagger. Wait there before we do this. It Prices are ten percent better. Nothing like the smell of a hmm. blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't need the bow. And that's it really. I'll keep the archery helmet. Get rid of the boots. Happy days. And that's it. The rest of it is all crafted materials and ore, which I want to keep. If you're looking Wait for there. some armor, a weapon, perhaps. You seem proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. <laughs> yeah, it's impressive, mate. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. I'll get some for you, mate. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. Ten? Where am I supposed to get ten? Where can I find them? A flame Atronach's body might provide fire salt. They're Atronach. dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. Hold on. Remember, so if you can simply buy them, fire salts will do. The if you can simply buy them, why doesn't he just do it himself? Now wait there, if we get a... Oh, there's the meadery. I need to find an alchemist. Or the pawn. I think I might be able to sell these, because I've got dragon bones, haven't I? Anna de Bella statue. I'll sell these dragon bones to this merchant. Yes, no hard feelings, friend. <laughs> Welcome to the pond. Trinkets, odds and ends. That's I beat this guy's face in ages ago as part of the Thieves Guild quest. Right. Miscellaneous. He's only got four gold. Well, I'm not wasting that. Can I buy anything? What about books? A Dream of Sovereign God. Courage. Target won't flee for 60 seconds. Weapons and armor can be improved 17% better. That is nice, but not too grand nice. Aha! Stamina regenerates 20% faster. I mean... I'm not bothered. And is that it? 152 out of 320, I think we're ready to go. Windhelm. Well, actually, we're not going to Windhelm, are we? Sorry, Winterhold. I've never been to Windhelm yet. 
but I've got this nice little cave I found earlier on. Travel there and then we can head south. I think we're in a position where we've at least discovered something on all four corners of the land. So we're not, we're always a fast travel away. Sorry, there's always a fast travel point close to where we need to go. This way. Okay, let's go. got four points to spend. I think I want to spend that in light armor if I'm honest. I need to be level 40 for that. Yeah, I've already got that 25% bonus. Right, we need to be level 40 before we can upgrade that. If In that case, I want to upgrade my 100. Nice. And that'll do for now. Oh, as well, I wanted to start upgrading my... Right, where's Illusion? Conjuration's at 58. Did we have something to buy when we hit 60? 80 it is. Okay. Adept Conjuration. I don't think I used them yet. Right, where do I need to go to get Silent Casting? Oh, it's quite far into the tree. Level 50. Okay, so with that in mind, what illusion magic do we have? Calm and Fury. I think I'm going to start using this. We'll start using this on my left hand to get this spell up. Because I imagine we can cast this on anything. Is that Mercer's horse? No. A random horse? Something fishy going on here. Oh, the stars at night. I feel energised under the stars. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look, are they fighting each other now? <laughs> Look at this guy, it's, it's, it's in a rage. That's pretty cool. Now let's see how poor it's going to take. Oh, 10 to 20 to do a level? Well, it doesn't matter. Ah. Corundamore. Right, looks like we're here. Snow Veil Sanctum. And there's Mercer. You alright, brother? Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. Yeah, did you see her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. You want me to lead? So wait there. You want to come out here 
instead of leaving this to me and then me take the lead. I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. This You're guy leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? This guy is a greedy wanker. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. <laughs> so, so the last thing you need is me walking into a trap you, you want me to go forward first. I think your logic's flawed, mate. How did Gallus die? 25 years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Yeah, so Carlia took both of you alone. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins, and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruin. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. Yeah, so what happened afterwards? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. Yeah, and you were part of this. You must be if you become the guild leader. I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what about her? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. That's enough of this unnecessary chat. Yeah. We need to keep going. Well, it sounds like she's rather dangerous. You better keep your wits about you. Even though I don't trust you. Well, how am I, mate? If I gotta wait for a key, open it up. Catacombs. So we're dealing with a tomb, are we? Probably Droga. Well it is well, well it is catacomb so yes there will be death in the air some soul gems earlier on. Right now how do we get in here?
Now is there a lever? Ah. Brilliant. What the hell? He just, he's just pushing me out the way. This guy's brutal. Come on, mate. You better take this seriously. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. Oh, you were lucky you weren't there, mate. I can see one. It resisted it. Tell you what, these drogas are too strong for the... Ah! For the fury. It only works on lesser things, okay then. Let's just go stealth. I can hear something moving about. Fuck. Hold on, what's through? what's through here? Nothing. Ancient Nord sword is an axe. Probably fall apart if I try to use them. Back, back off, back off, back off, mate. You idiot. Come here. I wish you just wait there. <laughs> I couldn't back off because he was right up my arsehole. I do like fighting these Draugr because you can get your stealth skill up really well by them just waiting there for two more of them ahead. for death. little cheeky level up. Two eighty. So I'll do this level health and then next level health and then I think the level after that will go for mana. So this is a, I understand why this is a thieves hideout with all the traps and pulleys and, and levers and hidden doors. And it's quite clever for her to make this one of her hideouts because she's kind of got Draugr's as, as bodyguards or at least a test before anybody gets to her. Any bad guys down there? Yes. There's 
a lot of creep jets down there. Call me Legolas. Look at this big fella down there. Can't see him yet. Go on. Where have you gone? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, he just went out of sight. Is he going to come up here? No. We'll get him when we'll find our way down there. Stuck on the floor. That was weird that my sword got like stuck in animation, I couldn't move it. Oh, ho, ho, a spinning cut. Brilliant. Bone chimes. Must have already read that book, but that sounded like a, a thievery skill of possibly sneak. Oh, feels bad to be you, mate. Stay back. This guy's rock solid. The white. Draw the white. Oh. Oh, another one. what you get. Now did these have anything good? I thought they might have had like a really nice weapon or something but regular old shit. Keep an eye out for traps. Oh, well, there's one. Model ship. Knew it. <laughs> I'm too clever for you, but I will have that ship. Oh, this is where we desecrated all the bodies already. Desecrated. But I think there's a guy in there, isn't there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the same bloody room. Oh, it's a door I've missed. Hmm. Where is this door? Up. Oh. Hold on, there must be a secret lever or something that I'm missing. Oh, 
Ob Haya. Ah, here we go. I thought I was missing something. Oh, no, I've got a lever. Wait there, this is taking us back. Right, hold on, there's something I'm missing here. Like, what, what can I not see? I've got to get into here. Up this way. This is the area that we we could see from the little cubby hole up there. Right, I know where I am now. Did you just die of natural causes? Yes, yes, what is it now? I don't know, you tell me. Stay cloaked. Oh, you fucked it there, mate. Beautiful. He's got quite the combination with a sword, doesn't he? He's, he's He's like a legend. Sword wheeling legend. Just wait. Big fella there. Ambush. I'd like to think it was an ambush. Look, there's another dead one there. Has he got life steal on his sword? Because there's keep like it's like a red aura off everything he hits. I didn't want the iron mace. Where the hell? Is this a, is this a novice lock? A depth lock and I can't even do it. It is an illusion. 26 gold, it was hardly worth it. <laughs> Poison arrows. Oops, sorry mate, but you seem to be locked out. We're on the right track. She's been through here as well. Something your feeble attempt to hide from assaulting. And that we can agree on, my friend. That door up ahead. Looks perfect for hiding an ambush. Be ready. Back off, back off. Mercer, get back here. We'll take them by surprise.
stay back. I like how tough these Draugr are. It makes a change. Ah, Horned War Axe. Now that's different from what we're used to. Let's see if we can sneak up on these guys. I can hear a word wall. Where is it? He stood right in front of it. Oh, he's a lord. <laughs> Roda, bitch. take that. Did I get that word? I didn't get a chance to see what it was. I was too busy fighting. Bow of Frost. That's good. Better than what I've got. And that's it. Ice and chitin. Just what the doctor ordered. Some light armor skill. How do we get through here? Looks like I answered my own question. Oh, and now we need one of them. Unless he has it. We need a claw. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carly is close, I'm certain. Why I? Can you teach me that trick? That'll come in handy in my adventures. Obviously not. Oh, what's happening? I've been wrecked. Oh, we found her. Did he do that to me? Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? No, it was her with an arrow. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough, otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. So Mercer killed Gallus the scumbag. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. 
I bet you he doesn't think I've heard this. Look, I can still see her. She's invisible. She's just walked off. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Grignolf your regards. What a scumbag. How am I going to get out of this one? Oh, shit. I'm too hardcore to die like that. I can't go out like that. No way. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? A lot better to see you. Bloody hell. But you did shoot us. No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Well, yeah, I appreciate it, but why would you save me? Well, actually, I don't know the answer. So I'll take down that scumbag. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split second decision to get you out of the way that prevented your death. Then I'm in your debt. Then again I'm in no one's debt. You should have shot Mercer instead. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perform. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why do you want him alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. I agree. How are you going to prove it? Then again, she's got my word. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. What does it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. <laughs> it could have never been that simple. What about a translator? Enfer. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again, Nightingale. What's a Nightingale? There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Perfect. Why aren't you coming with me? There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Tell me about Gallus. He was your lover. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. I bet you were. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Well then. Remember, Let's go. Speak only to Enfer. Trust no one else. Certainly. I don't trust many people to start with. Oh, there's her horse. Poor thing. Right then, well the good thing is I actually wanted to go to the College of Winterhold anyway. So are we close? Speak with Enthia. What do you do? I'll fast travel there. And I think 
the college is it's when I was here I saw it it's on like a cliff college of winter hold because I want to see if I can get some better spells because there's only so many spells the, the merchants carry wait there who's this guy I've been looking for you got something I'm supposed to deliver your hands only Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Oh, okay. Like that's it. Got to go. Museum of Dawnstar. I do like how certain quests are given to you in this game, like by a little courier. It's uh, pretty cool. Silas Vesius presents the Museum of Mythic Dawn. A history of the cult that toppled the Septim dynasty inside of his very own home in the great capital of the pale dawn star free and open to all citizens so it's free entry providing a good service why oh not a dragon really where oh shit Oh nice, fireballs are hitting it. Take it down! If you can take it down to land, I'll get it. Can I fuss roll that? It stunned it but I can't reach it. I might have to get the boat. Is it gonna land or what? Been a scumbag. Land on the ground, you coward. A blood dragon, eh? I think my Atronach is uh, destroying it. It's doing a good job. I'm trying. Has it fell down? It has. Come here, you cowardly beast. Nice. One ride it. And that is how you take a jet dragon down, ladies and gentlemen. I hope nobody was hurt. Is everybody all right? Luckily, this place is deserted. So I think everybody got indoors safely. Good. And everyone here has witnessed, witnessed my legendary act. Now, as I was saying before the the dragon attacked this guy here Elonthia or something we've spoke to him before he's an ex-mage that's left to do his own work is that right yes Enthia yeah, I think it is we he sleeps in his bed oh it's not so don't bother asking. that's a Nelikor okay so it's a different guy altogether Hello, friend. Unless you're Can I help you with anything room. else? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes. It's a problem, though. A problem? Let me see it. 
No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. The Falmer? Can he translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Calselmo. Yeah, why did he scribe his journal in Falma? Did he know that it was it was that valuable that it had to be coded? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Where did he acquire the knowledge? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo, eh? Tell me more about Gallus. Was he an upstanding bloke? He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. He was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. He was an academic, yet he chose a different path. For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. Don't we all? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? In the air, what exactly is a Falmer? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Yeah, so they were like you. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. And yeah, what sent them underground? The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. A pretty sad story, like. Yeah, you, you do seem to despise them. Why shouldn't I? The Falmer have killed more than a fair share of my acquaintances. They're animals. They show absolutely no pity or remorse. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject should be on my table. And where's that? Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Oh, that careful. must be his table in here, is it? No. His table. Mages don't let us go into college. They said it's not safe in there. Well, I don't know where that is, but before we continue this quest, I'm actually going to go into the the college to see if I can buy some good spells. Hello, friend. Nope. Sorry. Oh, that's the courier. Nothing. Just standing about. Heard they're informing the dawn god. Vampire hunters or something in the old court near Rickland. Could you join me up my friend? Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Why? What is this place? Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. So can I enter the college? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Spells.
spells beyond my wildest imagination. I want to unravel the mysteries of Aetherius. I don't know what that is, but it sounds nice. Ah, the immortal plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Right then. Wait there, let's just try and let's just try and blagger. I think we both know I'll succeed he succeed here. No, I'm afraid Ooh. I don't know anything of the sort. <laughs> I'll take your test then. Excellent. The flame Atronach is a vital companion for anyone relying on conjuration. Summoning one here would certainly show your skill. Well, it just so happens. I look forward to it. it just so happens that BAM! Look at my Atronach. Look at it now. Look at its breasts and booty. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Mirabel. And if you'd actually had your eyes open, you would have seen that I summoned this Atronach when I was fighting the dragon. Come on then. Away with you. Oh yes, this is I love the the look of this place. What Oh I thought she was gonna attack us there. The architecture is beautiful. No matter what. Stunning. Well then, Feralda, we haven't got all day. Winter holds glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on. Is that it? And she's off to be a gatekeeper again. She's like the receptionist of the College of Winterhold. An evil woman. Oh, hello there, friend. Savos Aren. You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. I'm brand new. No, we have not. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Aren, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. Okay. Are we clear? Crystal. Yeah, dangerous research must be a problem here. Not often, no. Some risks must be taken to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. What is the purpose of this place? Purpose? I should think it's self-evident. Magic is a true power. Not something to be shunned by commoners, or treated as an amusing diversion by politicians. It shapes worlds, creates and destroys life. It deserves proper respect and study. The college is a place where we can focus on that without the pressures of the world weighing down on us. What about the history? I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. So, yeah, what happened in the last few hundred years? The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. 
The college fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. Yeah, what caused it? No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had hmm. far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. Bloody hell. I know there are some who have blamed the college, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. You would say that though, wouldn't you? Right, that's cool. All right then. Thank you very much. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. Oh, there's Mirabel. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Balnor received no such treatment here. Good. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Do not trust him. Welcome to the college. I was told to come and see you by the gatekeeper. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? No, not yet. I'm not ready for that yet. I see. Well, please let me know when you are. I'm just here to go shopping. Arcanium? Archmage's quarters? What's in the Arcanium? Oh, it's the... the library. Skyrim? Hold on, hold on. Do they not have like a... a sleeping quarters? Archmage's quarters. Aha, they do. Hall of Attainment. That doesn't sound like living quarters. Neither does this like we'll try it. There's gotta be a shop in here, hasn't there? Oh this is the living quarters. So where's everybody? The Midden? Ah, it's bloody Harry Potter and his secret trap doors. Aha, finally, life. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic. And don't so your restoration, you I'm interested in conjuration. Where's your conjurer at? I'm allowed to sleep. What time is it? It's in the evening time, so I've got an idea. Wait three hours. You're the restoration girl, aren't you? Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, I'm, I'm not going to let anybody tell us otherwise. But where the hell is all the students? Right, I think we're we're out of luck here altogether. Tell you what we'll do. I'll save it here while she reads a book. Next episode, the first thing we'll do is we'll do this woman's tour. Hopefully, she'll show us to the shop and things, and then we'll start a um getting some hopefully higher level spells and then we can continue on with the Thieves Guild quest.
which is taking us to Calisimo. Calisimo. Why is he called Calis Calisimo? Calisimo. In Markarth. Now we've never been to Markarth before, so this is some more new horizons for us. Okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.